Let's go. This is TJ Cates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly and with the Nashville Film Festival brought to you by Talk Opus. We have a good friend of mine that I met last year and we're also Facebook friends, which makes it official, Paul Ladd. Now, what's the publication that you're with? I am a senior correspondent with World Christian Broadcasting. Nice. Hey, that's awesome. And I met you last year and I noticed you didn't do the camera, you didn't do all that, you write stuff down. We write it down and do it radio. We use the good old uh, recorder, audio recorder. Uh, we've got listeners all over the world. You know the cool thing about your stuff that I've seen is you're more detailed than we are because you're writing it down, and I think I'm going to keep it up here and I just don't. So good for you, man. Right? Well, it's easier to write stuff down for me because it helps me remember. Sometimes I forget stuff. Yeah, sometimes I have to trust Jill to help me remember, and I do the same thing for her. And she does a good job, too. She does a really good job. Yeah. She's, she's good at getting details, which I'm not, but you are. So let's talk about some of the interviews that you got this week because I just I know that some Chinese filmmakers were in here, and you, got, you went in and got that, and nobody else did that's of interest to our audience because uh, it's a general news story and also we do a Chinese broadcast so when I interviewed Lee Weaver who's the liaison between the Chinese filmmakers and the American groups I had her answer the questions in both languages so our Chinese colleagues will be able to use both yeah, and uh, they'll just translate my copy and my narrative and they'll have the sound bites in Chinese too do you have a journalism background because your voice and the way you carry yourself? I do. Where did it start? All started in college in Kenston, North Carolina, Lenore Community College. Was in the broadcast program for two years and then went to uh, Middle Tennessee State University, graduated there, the radio TV journalism program, and the rest is history. So that's, man, that's awesome. Now, how did you get affiliated with this? Is this your company? Is this somebody you work for? Yes, I work for World Christian Broadcasting, and we do this because it gives us an opportunity to interview people we otherwise would not be able to get. Yeah. I think it's a good window, too. You know, the faith-based film that are coming into town, I know that we have some, some big companies. What do you think about that, about the mainstream kind of going over to the faith-based? I think it's good because it's good to hear all viewpoints. It's good to hear all sorts of ideas and let the marketplace decide. Yeah, the marketplace, and that's turning into a lot of millions of dollars now. Where it used to, they used to make movies, and then people would shy away from them. But now I've noticed they don't really call them faith-based. They're actually a great story. They are, and one and of you can sneak some Jesus in when they're not watching. Exactly. And the thing is, if it's a good faith-based movie, it's not going to be overtly preaching something along the lines of, "Gosh, I just got run over by a bus," and Jill comes over and says, "Well, if you'd pray more, uh, that right. wouldn't have happened." Uh, this is more along the lines of reaching people where they are. Uh, we had the identical last year. Faith was a big part of that. Yeah. But it wasn't preachy. It wasn't whacking Just people over the head. Exactly. Right. Little boy that's coming out. It's going to be very good. I've seen it uh, in a preview. And uh, very good movie. Faith is part of it. But it's not a sermon. It's not a sermonette. Now, one of my favorite movies of all time is Sergeant York with Gary Cooper. And if you ever watch it, I don't know if you ever have, it's about World War II, uh, um, World War One or two. I get those World confused. World War One. It was before my time, but it was World War One. yeah. Okay, um, it was actually, it's faith, total faith-based. But they, I've got, I have the movie poster in my house, and it's not deemed as faith-based. But they made it now, people would look at it. Exactly. Find scripture, find his faith. He fell down, he was a little wild, he came back with Jesus, and then he was conviction, you know, for my country or for my Bible. And the great scene where Walter Brennan sings, Give Me That Old Time Religion. I love that. Gary Cooper just comes and kneels down. Yes. Stop. I love that scene, man. It's awesome. Great movie. Great movie. Okay, well, thanks for talking to us, man. It's an honor to hang out with you. Absolutely, TJ. And oh. Jill has questions. Yes. So, hold okay. on. Jill Sanamanez is going to take over the microphone. Hi, this is Jill Sanamanez. So, Paul, um, tell us now, is this going to be all of your interviews uh, for the week? Is it going to be on podcasts? How can people see it? or listen to it. People will be able to go to worldchristian.org or knls.org and there will be shows on there. It'll just be whatever day they run. Mm -hmm. Click on that day's broadcast because the day it's broadcast is also the same day it's put online. So there's no wait awesome. and you can listen to the whole yeah. show and uh, occasionally I throw up stuff on SoundCloud because Good. We talked about I do that. Yeah. It's gotten to be a big thing. Um, I get Musicians use it, why not? I get all kinds of comments on, so, hey, we heard this on SoundCloud, and people will write in and say, you know, we heard the show, and you did this interview with a filmmaker, or you did this interview with newsmaker, whatever. So um, 
you know, radio. It's just another way to get it out there. Right. And radio is still big. People forget in a lot of countries, not everybody has internet. Right. And shortwave and terrestrial radio are still the ways to reach a lot of these countries. Broadcasting. Broadcasting, yes. So do you guys have a fan page, Facebook fan page, Twitter? We do. We are on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're all Christian Broadcasting. And uh, we're also on Facebook. Pardon me. I didn't mean to injure you there, TJ. And um, that's good. And I also am on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter. So, uh, folks, hit me up. Let's go. Swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip in his chin. He ain't no.